Welcome to Village Church Connections. I'm David Pavey. When I was growing up in England, every schoolboy played cowboys and Indians. Though for, for some reason, none of us wanted to be the Indians. We knew about wagon trains and bison, but still, when I came to the USA in my late teens, I had never even heard of tumbleweed. Tumbleweed? What's tumbleweed? But those were the days in this country when Roy Rogers and the Sons of the Pioneers were making popular the cowboy song. Here on the range I belong, drifting along with the tumbling tumbleweeds. Soon thereafter, I had a chance to drive Route 66 from Chicago to Phoenix, and I saw tumbleweed galore those twisted balls of dead foliage rolling across the open range and deserts. But that was 60 years ago, and tumbleweeds have never stopped spreading. In fact, nearly every state in the U.S. is now home to this invasive weed, the Russian thistle, which immigrant farmers accidentally introduced to the USA in South Dakota in 1873 in contaminated flax. Once mature and dry, the thorny plant detaches from its root or stem and rolls with the wind, dispersing about a quarter of a million seeds per plant in the process. Today, tumbleweeds are not only a nuisance for farmers and a fire hazard, but they sometimes block driveways, barricade people inside their homes, or choke roads. Recently, for example, in southeastern Washington state, Drivers stopped their cars when 40 mile per hour winds sent tumbleweeds racing across State Route 240. People had to stop driving when they couldn't see anymore. But the tumbleweeds kept coming and they quickly blanketed the road and piled up between the cars. Within 30 minutes, along a strip of road roughly the length of three football fields, vehicles were completely encased in tumbleweed. Some heaps of the weed reached 20 feet high, high enough to swallow an 18-wheel semi-truck. 20 miles of the road were shut down for about 10 hours while crews cleared the section with snow plows. One of the stories Jesus told in the Bible had to do with good seed that fell on thorny ground. The weeds grew up and choked the plants. Jesus explained that the seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. These are people who receive God's word, but eventually just lose interest. The pressure is external, the worries of this life and the lure of wealth. Slowly but surely, these people's spiritual life becomes choked. As they get busy with the business of living and making money, they lose interest in their spiritual life. It's not that these distractions are wrong in themselves. It's that they divert the heart's attention. Little by little, the weeds choke the heart. It's not a conscious choice, of course but a slow drift into preoccupation with legitimate pursuits, like making a living and recreation and entertainment and travel, etc. And in time, their devotion to Christ just shrivels up. People can become so busy grasping at everything that they forget what they should hold on to. We all know people who were once active in the church, but later in life drifted away, choked by weeds. They're not opposed to reading the Bible and attending church. But they just don't have time for that anymore. Jesus told us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and he would take care of all our other needs like food and clothing. So let's beware of the tumbleweed, indeed any of the weeds that threaten to choke our spiritual growth. First things first, please. And thank you for tuning in to Village Church Connections.